Hello there and welcome to Core Finance London where it's uh, Watson's Wi-Fi time with Peter Watson. How are you today, Peter? Very well, thank you. How are you? I'm very well. I always describe you as a former comedian, but I think that's unfair. <laughs> well, I don't know really. Well, unfair to comedians, really. I'm, I'm not really. I'm just a, you know. I think they're once amateur. a comedian, always a comedian. Oh, really? Apart from Steve Martin. Oh, uh, OK. Because he he's, he's, hasn't been funny for years. So. Well, no, indeed. Indeed. So, yeah. So what have you got today? Right, so um, tons of stuff on the consumer from, on the macro front this week. So uh, it's all quite depressing. Um, so you've got um, household spending down. That was, uh, there were some fi figures from um, Visa that showed the steepest drop in the last quarter for the, for the last four years. Um, wage growth down. Um, that's from figures from um, the ONS. Um, and they're talking about wages basically going down by 0.7% versus inflation going up um, by 2.9% in May. Uh, then you've got um, in, the, in the papers today about credit card defaults are going up. Um, and, there were, you know, because there, there was a survey by the Bank of England which shows um, credit card, card loan defaults are the highest um, since the third quarter of 2009. Um, so it's not, not looking great. And in terms of other economic indicators... So why are they lending people this money? I guess it's just... Uh, That's the thing, they keep lending. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I suppose in a way it's, it's maybe a, a throwback to when things were a bit better maybe a year ago or something. I don't know. I, I, I suppose that um, you know, it's, it's, just, it's just continued. But I mean, at least now the Bank of England are actually trying to do something about it. They've, they've, um, like... Well, they've they've written a letter. To, they've written written a letter to the bank saying, why why don't you have a look at your credit card lending terms and, oh, okay. and stuff like that? So no, that, that can yeah. that, that should do it. I, I, I think a stern letter is yeah, no, is definitely uh, something that that clearly uh, it's works. It's more powerful than anything that comes out of North Korea. Uh, well, yes. That, well, they, you know, the, the pen is is mightier than the uh, intercontinental, <laughs> intercontinental <laughs> ballistic missile. Um, so, so yeah. Uh, but anyway, um, then you had figures from you know, pubs and restaurants. It was really interesting. Uh, so the Association of Licensed Multiple Retailers, very good association, because it represents 90% of pubs and, and, uh, and, uh, and restaurants. Um, they're talking about food and drink prices is going up between 7 and 9% and something like 96% of their members feel that they can't pass on increased prices um, to their customers. So, you well, they're know, happy that, to pass on the 12.5% um, uh, tip. That that, that's right, yes. yes they, they can they get are. rid of that and then there will be sort of <laughs> break even. Maybe they could. Uh, be a bit harsh well, perhaps on them. the staff. Um, but then... Uh, the, staff the, the staff don't get it though. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. Well, I suppose it depends on the place, doesn't it? Really. But um, then you've got high-end properties. Uh, there's some figures from Knight Frank, uh, which are showing that high-end properties um, are seeing a, a big increase in in terms of being rented rather than being bought. So, 33% rise um, in super prime ten tenancies in the first quarter of this year versus last year, because basically. They don't, they, you know, there's obviously they, they don't want to buy because of political and economic uncertainty. So again, sort of a, a bit of, a, you know, a bad sign. And also the other thing as well is um, business recovery experts, um, Begbie's trainer, they also have said that they've seen an increase in the number of companies going insolvent this year and expect it to rise. Apparently it bottomed out in 2016, but now it's on the rise. So the project fear has turned out to be a reality. It looks like it at the moment, for sure, yes. That'll be very disappointing to Mr Cameron and Mr Osborne. Quite possibly, quite possibly. But, um, but, uh, um, but anyway, the, um, in terms of the individual company news, um, we've got, it was a good week, uh, or a very good week, actually, for Premier Oil. Um, it was a, uh, obviously they made a very nice discovery of uh, two, bi two billion barrels of oil off the coast of Mexico. So their share price went up accordingly. So that was very good. Apple also, um, they have announced a new data center in, in China. Um, and that's very good because obviously I think China is actually tightening the um, security on, on the internet. And, um, and so I think it's a, good, it's a good move for them because at least it keeps them in the game potentially if China let them get in the game. But anyway, they're, you know, they're ticking the box, I guess. But bad week for um, Abercrombie & Fitch, who's been trying to sell itself. Um, lots of US uh, apparel retailers are having a nightmare at the moment. Abercrombie appears to be no different. It's trying to shut stores and revamp things. But at the end of the day, 
it seems to me that uh, Abercrombie and Fitch, there's only so many Abercrombie and Fitch sort of t-shirts, jeans and jo you know, jogging bottoms that you, can, that you can have in one wardrobe. Um, so, you know, uh, other, other ones that have gone, uh, have, have had trouble are Aeropostal, Wet Seal and American Apparel, who have all filed for uh, Chapter 11 bankruptcy in the last year. So it's all pretty difficult for them. Oculus Rift, um, they have uh, had to cut their prices for the second time this year. So the launch price was $800. Um, it was recently $599, and they've cut it for a limited period um, to $399. People realise that you can't go around blindfold. Yeah. Have they realised that? There is a, have, you, have you used You need, you used you, you need to have like a, um, a guide dog with you. Well, there you go. Uh, uh, buy, on, buy guide dogs, uh, sell, sell Oculus Rift. I mean, I think that... Um, have you had a go on them? No, I wasn't impressed because I, you know, I, felt, I felt, you know, I, because I, I don't know where I'm going. Yeah, but I, I found that they, were very, they made me actually feel sick. After about 10, 50, it was very impressive, but it just made me feel very queasy after. And I don't, I don't normally feel that sick. There's nothing like a good old-fashioned television yes. set. Yes, and everyone gathering around it. That's right. Yeah. I, I, Watching things when they're on the TV. Right. Yes, all right, yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, there's that. And Snap also, that's, that's an absolute nightmare. Um, they were down... Oh, it's, it's, it's so bad, it's hilarious. Uh, Morgan Stanley, who were the lead uh, brokers on the IPO with the price target initially of $28, bringing it down to 16. I mean, I just think that's terrible. Um, but, but there you go. Um, and then 16 more than it's worth. So, well, you know. yeah, yeah. Um, so not, you know, not, not bad valuation for a one trick pony. Uh, and then um, the worst, of course, was for Carillion, which looks like it's uh, Look, looks like it's pretty terminal. I mean, presumably it's involved in so many important projects and things, it, surely it can't fail. But obviously everyone is uh, rather, um, you know, panicking rather about all the subcontractors and stuff like that. So that's a nightmare. Uh, but in terms of theme for today, um, I was going to talk about sort of electric cars. Um, so there's loads of, loads of stuff. So actually we had the first electric black cab um, was announced um, this week by the London Electric Vehicle Company. You'll be glad to know that you'll be able to hail one of these from November. The only slight downside is it's only got a 70 mile radius before, before you actually, before you actually uh, go switch the petrol. So it sounds pretty pointless to me. Uh, but hey, you know, uh, I suppose it's going in the right direction. Um, there's some interesting stuff about chemicals companies as well that are trying to get in on the act of, of electric, uh, electric cars by providing more stuff for, uh, you know, more materials for car batteries. Uh, so they include Umicor, Johnson Matty and BASF. Uh, and Umicor is a Belgian company, is apparently the leader uh, and everyone else is catching up. But they're, they're basically ch ch switching their focus from sort of catalytic converters to, to battery technology. So Belgians are a leader in some fields. They it's certainly are. From, uh, Poirot and uh, the chocolate. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, Eddie that's Merckx. Right. Eddie Merckx, obviously topical, Tour de France, although, you know, a little, little while ago, but, uh, but still. Yeah, Eddie, I remember who he is. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Um, so uh, and then the other thing is what Tesla, quite interesting things on Tesla is that um, on the one hand, they announced that they're, they're just going to employ 1,400 extra, extra mechanics, 150 extra service centres, and uh, was it 100, uh, 350 maintenance vans as well, all in anticipation of, of everyone buying the, the, uh, the Model 3. Um, good, good idea, um, but they also had some bad news this week. I mean, earlier on um, in Hong Kong, apparently, uh, do you know, do you know, say so this is good, do you know, how many, um, how many, so uh, Hong Kong, they, they, de they just cut the, the uh, tax subsidy for, um, for electric vehicles on the 1st of April. How many orders in Hong Kong were there in April for the Model S and the Model X? 95. Now, I'll give you a clue. It's a round number. Oh, really? Yeah. That round? Yeah. Really, really round. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not even eight? No. Zero. And then how many in May? Did it go up? Uh, yes. Two? Five. Oh, that's not bad. <laughs> Can we keep so it's, it's a nightmare, isn't it? So I mean, it basically goes to show that, that really 
subsidies are absolutely crucial for electric vehicles. For whatever anyone else says, if they take the subsidy away, very, very tricky. Um, and so, you know, uh, even, even the mighty Tesla um, has found that. And uh, actually, there's another company called Faraday Future um, that uh, this week announced a, a planned factory that was going to, you know, big fanfare. Um, they decided to, to can that. So, you know. All right. Far Faraday Future is no more. No future. For Faraday okay. Future. It was, it was a kiss of death. Uh, certainly. Yeah. There you go. Um, so, yeah. So, um, yeah, very interesting stuff this week, obviously, as always. And do you have a final bit? Yeah. Well, um, I was going to say recently, obviously, it being ra rather nice weather recently, um, I, I, I happened to go to, you know, go to the beach um, and I noticed that I was one of the only ones not to have any tattoos. Um, and so uh, it was interesting, there was a story this week about a guy who decided to get a, a rather unusual tattoo, so I don't know if we can see that. Uh, can you see that? He's, uh, he, he, decided, he loves Costa so much yeah. um, that he decided to get a tattoo of a Costa cup on his arm. Okay. Which is pretty amazing, I think. Um, but I mean, if you feel inspired um, by things, maybe you, you could be inspired by famous people like, like this lady. Uh, oh, that's not this lady, it's a guy actually, isn't it? Here we go. Um, so Madonna, uh, that, that is a guy. Uh, but then there are some other uh, interesting uh, and unusual designs um, that, we, that we see on here. Um, I, I don't know whether you have you got any particular favourites there. I think I think I could do with the, the with, with the one at the bottom there actually. Yeah, I think that would be you know there would only be upside from that look. Well, yes, yes. I mean I can I can see that. Um, but I think that, have we got any others? Yeah. Now, you know I, I quite like the sentiment behind uh, never don't give up. Yes. Um, and, and then obviously there's there's knowledge is power. But I would probably add underneath that if they can't actually remove that under knowledge is power, I'd probably put something like, um, you know, spelling is also important. Yes, Perhaps. I think you could be right. But I just, I was wondering, these people, it's like people are asleep when they're having this done to them. Is that, is that or the Or possibly inebriated. Ah, that Possibly. type of sleep. I mean, I'm thinking here on the right-hand side. Well, the, the, the tattoo, this, the, was that the, ta the tattooist? Is a sleep, is is uh, slightly there could be some, a bit of both, perhaps. Yeah. You can't like Google the word or anything, or <laughs> yeah. No, they were clearly they were very confident in their. Uh... I think there's that was irony. That yeah. was irony. Yeah. Satire. Well, let's hope so. Yeah. Let's hope so. Yeah. But uh, you when know, I'm I'm thinking I'm thinking I'm thinking of getting a core finance tattoo actually. Oh well, a particular I think, part absolutely. of my body. I haven't decided which parts yet. <laughs> Right, OK. But, uh, yeah. On that note, uh, Peter Watson's and Watson's Wi-Fi, thank you very much for coming in today. Thanks very much.